you intruders arrived. Reality One was an angelic safe haven, away from all of destruction. It was a place within the Zero Point itself, and once the Omniverse was born, a strange island protecting everything became the main attraction for outer world phenomena. Day after day, there'd be rockets, time fractures, and corruptive cubes that eventually all became too powerful. A shard of that very cube fell into the zero point when it imploded, and with that, reality one decayed entirely. When time reset, the world was restored like magic. Yet the cube shard didn't reset. It wasn't from our concept of time. It was from a realm of nothing. So when the island was reborn, the cube shard stayed right by it, and now the kingdom shall arise to stop it in its tracks before everything is too late. Go investigate those dark anchors I've marked on your map. They've been here on the island for several months now. So, I think it's time we take a closer look. Huh. Strange. They almost have a dominating, powerful feel to them, like a storm invading the skies. However, they're essentially slaves to the Cube Queen, but we'll put that one on hold. The Ice King wants me to take these anchors back to him so he can freeze him over as part of his dangerous threats collection. I'm not sure why we trap it all away, but it looks so fun to use. But I don't want to lose his respect. Ah, interesting. Could you start working on that excavator for me? The parts are all right by the Inselberg point, so just gather them together, and we can pull the anchors right out of the ground. Alright, perfect. I'll assemble those parts and have everything done for the king within the next few days. Let's hope he's even that patient, otherwise he might lash out and freeze us all over, which wouldn't be ideal. that he's requested. Apparently his knights weren't able to acquire the other ones as they were swarmed by screaming zombies and weren't given permission to engage. It looked like the creatures were spawned from within the anchors themselves. Some of them must be fiend spawners, and now that we're sure that they're essentially pure evil, I'll give you the right to go on a killing spree. So would you mind getting rid of a few of those zombies? Thanks. I almost feel bad for the things. The darkness has taken full control of them, and now they have no say in any direction their life takes. It's all left up to the cubes. Speaking of the cubes, the fragments that we pulled out for the Ice King to freeze over have resulted in fiends that are a mix of both ice and darkness. Let's call them Ice Fiends. And let's also try to get them on our side. Okay, so that's not what I meant, but good try. The sorcerers are telling me there might be a way to combine the fiends so that they're more of a powerful asset to us. 
Sounds risky, but I think it'll be fun if we can get this thing on our side. Obviously, we can't right now, so why don't we focus on the smaller steps? Take an energy sample from what's left behind of the torn up anchors. Every time I look into these things, they give me a sense that they're more in power over the monarch than they should be. If this energy is truly as hypnotic as it seems, we should be able to brainwash the Ice Fiends to be on our side, but we need more of it. Okay, excellent. This is officially enough dark substance, as the Fiends have now stopped running at us. And they're growling at the anchors. I'm going to assume that means they're against the last reality, which is exactly what we needed. If the sorcerers are correct, we'll combine these beings to become a singular, obedient hive mind, strong enough to take down whatever's on its way. And so, I thank you again. You've been a great help. Goodbye for now. This is an urgent call. The remaining acres have been torn out of the ground, and it looks dangerous. Almost like an event of summoning. I need you to find where they've been dropped across the island, as well as what havoc they've caused. Immediately! Okay. This isn't as bad as I thought. However, I do believe we're still in for a struggling time. I think it's time I inform you of the Hurricane Sovereign. He used to be a trusted elemental monarch, but then he disappeared and came here to build a faction of his own known as the Aegis Air. He placed a visible cloud barrier over this island, supposedly shielding us. I think it's more blinding, a barrier to keep us from seeing what's to come. Use a thermal weapon to look beyond the clouds for life outside of the island, and then we'll know what we're really dealing with. I don't mean to alarm you, but you might want to put that scope down and look around. That was... underwhelming. But you're alive, so let's not waste any time. In the brief period that you were looking beyond the clouds, I noticed that same energy signature giving me the brainwashing corruption sort of feeling. But this one was strong. The only time I've seen anything similar is with the cube monarchs and the way that they manipulate. Though I'm pretty convinced that we're not just dealing with them this time, this needs to be further looked into. So, it is a ruler. It is a powerful entity. And as the days go on, the skies will grow cold. The storm is upon us, and with it, it's king. I don't know if the hive mind can stop this, or the cube king, or the cradle, but... Let's have hope. I appreciate everything you've done for me, friend. Over and out. <laughs>